Business owners in Chittenden County say retail theft continues to be a growing issue. Channel 3's Cam Smith spoke with one business owner in South Burlington calling for more to be done. About halfway down 10 on the right. Awesome. Thank You're you. welcome. Greg Bibbins is the general manager at several Ace Hardware stores throughout Chittenden County. He says across all of his stores, items are being stolen off the shelves. He estimates thousands of dollars in losses already this year. Theft on the daily. Um, and it's not even hidden crime anymore or people sneaking out. It's blatant people taking things off the shelf and running out of the store. This video captured on store surveillance cameras in July shows staff at the hardware store trying to take a pink Yeti cooler back from a woman who walked out without paying for it. Bibbins says staff were able to recover the cooler, but that doesn't always happen. To a family business, to a local business, it hurts deeper. According to data from South Burlington Police, between August 2022 and so far this year, they received 430 reports of retail theft, a number that has consistently rose over the last few years. South Burlington Police Chief Sean Burke says they've seen the same people stealing on multiple occasions. We see a lot of substance use disorder. We see a lot of mental health crisis. But regardless of that, when they're resistant to treatment but yet continue to go to court, the court is forced to, re to release these folks on pretrial conditions of release. And it does become an endless, almost vicious cycle. We asked to speak with Chittenden County State's Attorney Sarah George, but she was not available for an interview. In a statement, George writes, quote, much of the complaints I have heard from business owners is that when a person steals from them, the person is right back on the street. That is not the same as there being no repercussions. Everyone is entitled to be on the street after committing a nonviolent offense. In response to the issue, Bibbin says the store has taken matters into its own hands by placing signs at the front door requiring all customers to leave bags at the front desk. We get their information, we get photographs, we get license plate numbers, we get timestamps. Anything, they, they know what to look out for and then they know to report it to the police. George has said repeatedly in the past that not everyone charged with a misdemeanor or low-level property crime should be put in jail, especially those with substance abuse problems. In South Burlington, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News.